Police are still searching for a man wanted in connection to a deadly shooting in Pueblo. However, we're learning more about one man who just turned himself in in connection to the shooting. The suspect, Austin Aragon, is charged with second degree murder and attempted first degree murder. Cardio News Channel 13's Barbara Fox is live on East 6th Street on Pueblo's east side where the deadly shooting played out. Barbara. Sean Heather, court documents revealed that dispatch received a frantic 911 call from the victim's young son in the early morning hours of December 2nd. At the scene, police found a 32 year old Alonzo Valdez dead and a woman who had been shot six times. On December 2nd, Pueblo dispatchers received a call from a boy that his mom was shot in the heart. When officers arrived to the home on East 6th Street, they found Alonzo Valdez dead in the backyard and a woman who had been shot grasping for air inside the home. Before she went to the hospital, she told police Austin Aragon was the shooter. According to court documents, she later told police Valdez had gone to the bar earlier that night. When he came home, police say Aragon showed up with an unknown man and Aragon and Valdez began fighting. During the argument, she explained Valdez had a gun and was pointing it at Aragon. Security footage obtained by investigators matches up with this. According to the Alpha David, Valdez is seen pointing a pistol at Aragon. During this, Valdez is heard saying, look what you did to me, while Aragon kept telling him to do it. The woman says she intervened and took the gun away from Valdez and hid it inside. When she went back outside, the woman told police Aragon pulled a gun from his pocket and shot Valdez. She told police to protect Valdez and her children. She charged at Aragon, punching and swinging, but was shot. After landing on him, she managed to get the gun away, but the unidentified man pulled her off Aragon. She's not sure who shot her, but she was shot one to two more times before they left. Aragon turned himself in on Monday and he's now sitting in the Pueblo County Jail on a $1 million bond. Reporting live on Pueblo's east side, Barbara Fox, Cardio, News Channel 13.